What's you guys? Welcome to Game Take. Today we're going to be making a company board for ETS2. Same goes for ATS. And now to do that, we need to dive into the mod files. Okay, so one of the things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download WinRAR. Now, I do have 7-zip, but I'm going to give you how to download WinRAR as well. So, we'll just open up a browser. I'm going to type in WinRAR. I think they're all the same site, so... And so you come across here. If you've got the 64-bit, you want this one here. This is here for the 32-bit. Then we just come down to this one here, download WinRAR. And save it into our file and we're going to come up to downloads drag it out onto our desktop i always do this with all my files so just bear with me while i scan it quickly i'm pretty sure it should be fine yeah there we go close that down now just double click on it accept the user agreement and install it it even gives you a little shortcut chuck up on your desk there you go and we can get rid of that into there okay so we're looking for a big garage mod now i know this one over on ets.lt is version 128 but i do know that this one did used to change the board was changeable so i can't find a 139 so what i'm going to do i've downloaded it anyway and now what i'm going to do i'm going to drag it out onto my desktop and then we're going to right click it and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to documents Euro truck into the mod folder and I'm going to paste it into there like so and we're just going to see if it's possible that it might still work but it's not coming up as incompatible but it doesn't mean that it will still work let's go and have a look here we can see is the uh, your text thing okay right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to documents euro truck simulator 2 mods all right so we're already in here so what i want to do is i want to open that like so <laughs> gonna go to prefab garage textures if you come down to company board dds which is this one here if you double click on here it'll open up in paint.net okay so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna use the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw a rectangle over this if i can just get my fingers to stop messing about like so and then we're going to come to magic wand we're going to click inside it and we're going to hit delete then we're going to do all the rest of them like so and then we're going to that's right i'm going to pick a nice color blue and i'm going to do a gradient next to it using the gradient tool we'll come from about there i just want to make it a little bit more interesting okay and then we will deselect that now we're going to add in some text on this layer so we can call this text i'm going to come onto the text button i'm going to use this one here mask and at about size 72 to start with and uh, I forgot to change that to black, but there you go. Game take. I'm going to come up. I'm going to add go to object. I'm going to outline it in white. Move that out of the way a little bit. Just going to outline that. Okay. Then I'm going to come up. Go back to object again. And this time I'm going to add an object shadow. If I move that, you can see there's an object shadow there, but it's a little bit too big. Bring that down. I'm going to click OK. Then go back to effects again. Back down to object. 
and we're going to come down to outline the object that's not too bad actually okay well we'll go with that for the time being then we're going to come up to the move selected pixels grab on that come to the corner hold your shift key down drag it make it a bit bigger I'm going to just slightly come down a little bit, deselect that. Okay, and I'm going to add a layer. It's going to be text, but I'm going to change the writing style to impact, I think. I'll change the size down to about 48. All it's limited. I might make that slightly bigger. I'm going to take Paulage Limited. I'm going to come up here, click on if you highlight the things, you can put in your own size. So I'm going to go 65. Make it slightly smaller, that's better. And we'll do another lump. We'll do another layer. We'll do impact again, but we'll come back down to about 36. We'll do it there, and we're going to go. Then we we'll come up to the I hope there's no one's phone number I've used there. Just gonna click on that. Use my arrow keys. Move it into position a little bit better. Okay. And then I just want to add a little picture in, so we'll deselect that. Do another layer. Just put pick for this. And then what we'll do is we'll open up my big folder. Go to my PNGs. Take that one. Let me copy it. And then on that new layer, just come up here and paste it in. Keep the canvas size. And then we have to shrink it down. So holding the shift key down. Just do something like that. Okay, so when you've done your board and you're, you're quite happy with everything that you've got, we're going to come up here. I'm going to go to file, then to save as. Now, bear in mind, this is the file that it was in. See? Now, I'm not going to save mine as a PDN. I'm going to save mine as a DDS. So you can see it's changed to DDS, which is what it was originally. And now here it is in the file. So we're going to click save. It says it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And then you want to make sure you're on DXT5. Perceptual. Make sure you've checked your teacher generate mipmaps. I always do mine on Fent. And then click OK. And then flatten the layers. And then we can close out of here. Now it will say, the company board was modified. Do you wish to update it in the archive? Yes. Okay, now if we were to click on that again now. there we can see that it's in there see so we just click out of that click out of that and now we're going back to the game so i've just done a bit of digging and it seems like a few people have had this problem with this mod and what they had to do was to uh basically go in and buy a new garage so we're going to try that so we'll open up the game again and we'll put it back in and we'll confirm the changes and we're going to need to go and buy a new garage i'm going to have to do a bit of flying and just check yep still saying your text but well, okay so Well, we've gone to Manchester. I <laughs> thought Mannheim would have been the same, but there you go. Okay, Manchester would do. We head this way. There's a garage.
can see if this works, shall we? And there it is. <laughs> I don't want to use the words at last, but at last. So that's the problem with it. The problem is it needed to go and buy a new garage, not the one you were at. There we go, game take haulage. And so there is my sign, and that is how you do it. It is a very simple process to do, apart from you get so bogged down with that. And it wasn't the, the guy that I learnt this off of is Dutch, so he doesn't speak any English, basically trying to work out what he's been doing. And it wasn't until I went into his comments that I realised that there's a, an English comment down there that says, you got it working by buying a new garage. So, that's what you have to do. That was how to change the company board to your particular one. Now, this is on a big garage mod. I would suggest you do it on this one because, you, A, you get a better garage. So, you could obviously spend a lot longer time doing it than what I did. But, um, anyway, guys, I uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.